Welcome to Study Pharma. In today's video, I will explain about the histology of nephron. So what are nephrons? Nephrons are the structural and functional unit of kidneys. Kidney is composed of about 1 to 2 million nephrons and a small number of collecting ducts. Nephrons consist of two portions. They are renal corpuscle and renal tubule. Before we go into the details, let's see what are the two types of nephrons. The first one is cortical nephrons. 80 to 85 percent of the nephrons are cortical nephrons. Their renal corpuscles lie in the outer portion of the renal cortex. They have short loops of Henle that lie mainly in the cortex and penetrate only into the outer region of renal medulla. The next type is juxtamedullary nephrons. 15 to 20 percent of the nephrons are juxtamedullary nephrons. Their renal corpuscles lie deep in the cortex, close to medulla, and they have long loop of Henle that extends deep into the medulla. The ascending limb could be thick and thin, that is, a part of the ascending limb is thin and a part is thick. Now let us see the details of the histology of nephron. A single layer of epithelial cells forms the entire wall of the glomerular capsule, renal tubule and ducts. However, each part is distinct with different functions. First of all, it is the renal corpuscle. The nephron consists of a tubule closed at one end and the other end opening into a collecting tubule. The closed end forms a cup-shaped glomerular capsule, also known as Bowman's capsule, which almost completely encloses a network of tiny arterial capillaries. called glomerulars, which resembles a cold tuft. The glomerular capsule consists of a visceral layer and a parietal layer. The visceral layer consists of modified simple squamous epithelial cells called podocytes. The word podo means fruit and cytes means cells. So they form foot-like projections in the inner wall of the capsule. And the next layer, the outer layer, is the parietal layer. It is made up of simple squamous epithelial cells. The space between the two layers is called capsular space, where fluid filtered from the glomerular capillaries enter. Now, let us look at the structure of a renal tubule in collecting duct. The renal corpuscle continues as a tubular structure called renal tubule and opens into the collecting tubule. The renal tubule has three parts. Proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule. First of all, proximal convoluted tubule. The proximal portion of the renal tubule, which is present in the form of many coils, is called as PCT. They are lined by simple cuboidal epithelial cells with a prominent brush border of microvilli on their apical surface. 
What is apical surface? Apical surface is the surface facing the lumen. And what is the purpose of these microvilli? So microvilli present in the PCT increase the surface area for reabsorption and secretion. The metal U-shaped portion of the renal tubule present between the proximal and distal convoluted tubule is called as loop of Henle. The first portion of the loop dips into the medulla is called descending loop of Henle. Then the tubule bends in U-shape and returns to the cortex as ascending loop of Henle. The descending limb and first part of ascending limb. So the first part of an ascending limb is thin in the case of juxtamedullary nephron. So these both parts are composed of simple squamous epithelial cells. Whereas the thick ascending limb consists of simple cuboidal to low columnar epithelial cells. The final part of ascending limb makes contact with efferent arteriole because the columnar tubule cells in this region are crowded together, they are known as macula densa. The word macula means spot and densa means dense. So basically, macula densa is the part where the final part of ascending limb makes contact with the efferent arterial and it creates a dense region. Along with macula densa, the wall of the efferent arterial contains modified smooth muscle fibers called juxtaglomerular cells. Juxtaglomerular cells and macula densa constitute together the juxtaglomerular apparatus. The distal portion of the renal tubule is called distal convoluted tubule. Short connecting tubules link the DCT of several nephrons to a single collecting duct. The last part of the DCT and collecting duct consists of two different types of cells. Those are first one is principal cells. The majority of the cells are principal cells. They have receptors for ADH. ADH is the antidiuretic hormone and aldosterone. The next type of cells is intercalated cells. They are present in a small number compared to principal cells. Their function is to maintain the homeostasis of blood pH. So that's all for the histology of nephron.